one of the best ways to talk about climate change is to not talk about climate change is to listen to other people and find out what are the things that matter to them, what are their desires, what are their fears, what are the things that they want for themselves and for their kids and for their family. Uh, and in developing and in doing that listening then, you start to develop that bond, right? You're, you're establishing that common ground, which is a fundamental principle of any, uh, of any communication class for sure. So finding out those things, right, is, you know, I mean, it's important relationally, right? But you're also gathering information that then provides inroads, possibilities for you to connect climate to those things that matter to them. It's fundamentally important, and this goes beyond climate change. It's not just a matter of, you know, listening and t empathizing to talk about climate change. This is something we're, we're lacking across our society is genuine connection and talking to those we don't know so well. and getting a little bit out of our comfort zone or out of our cell phones and uh, really getting to know others and engaging and deeply listening. And that can help address climate change and that can help address all kinds of human connection. Social justice, um, wealth inequality, even gun violence, you know, all kinds of things, healthcare, public education, climate change, they're all related. Um, and it's hard to ask someone, it's hard to ask you to fight every fight. You know, there's only so many hours in the day and you have only so many calories in your body to use. Um, but we, we can't ignore them and then fight our own fight and expect them to just, to just be there. Um, so we gotta show up for them too. If we talk about the seriousness of the issue, we have to be kind of constructive with our seriousness, but also um, constructive with our solutions and give people ideas about what they can do. Um, and again, we don't, you don't want to just be, you know, oh, we can fix this tomorrow by, you know, some technological miracle or something. But, um, but when, I, when I do talk to people and we start talking about the seriousness of it, um, it's really important to, to figure out what it is. And again, it can be listening, it can be offering ideas, but what it is that people can do to help chart a course, a different course. We can't all fact check every story we read, but we can to a certain degree um, sort of double check and make sure that, that we're not um, complicit in, in spreading um, stories that contain mistruths. Climate change is a result of human action, and therefore everything that we can do to, to act and minimize climate change and reduce climate change is a step in the right direction. So ultimately, at some level, climate change is always in our hands.